In this second half of section 12.3, we're continuing to try to factor first and then cancel. So I'm going to look at our top here, and I'm going to think to myself, what goes into both 3x and 12? Well, a 3 goes in. So we take a 3 out, and we're left with x plus 4 on the inside. As we look at the bottom, because it's a trinomial, we're going to use the MAC method. We're going to say what multiplies to negative 20, that adds to negative 1, realizing there's a negative 1 in front of that x there. Well, the factors that work there are, very simply, negative 5 and positive 4 add to negative 1. So that's our multiply, add, choose step. So I'm going to replace the bottom with the factored answer of x minus 5 and x plus 4. Now that the problem is factored, we can cancel out factors, leaving us with an answer of 3 over x minus 5. On our second problem, number 6, on this page, as we look at it, we're going to look at the numerator and we're going to say we have to use the MAC method because it's a trinomial. However, because we have a 2 in front and a 2 in the back, we're going to have to say what multiplies to 4 and adds to 5. Well, those numbers are 1 and 4. We're going to have to do this factoring by grouping over to the side. So 2x squared plus 1x plus 4x plus 2. What goes into these first two is just an x. When we take an x out of those first two, we're left with 2x plus 1. If you remember, we put that 2x plus 1 at the back, and then we're going to put a box in the middle, and we say 2 divided by 1 is 2. We check that by saying 2 times 2 is 4. So my answer is x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. These are the factors for the numerator, x plus 2 and 2x plus 1. We now factor the denominator. Between 8x and 16, we can take out an 8, leaving us with an x plus 2. Now that the problem is factored, now we can cancel. So the x plus 2's cancel, leaving us with an answer of 2x plus 1 over 8. Once again, the 2 and the 8 may not cancel because the 2 is connected to the x and the plus 1, and you may not cancel unless you can cancel between all three and factor out first. Our last problem on this page, we have an idea of the difference of two squares on the top. x squared minus 16 is the difference of two squares, and that factors to x plus 4, x minus 4. When we look at the bottom, we say what multiplies to 8 that adds to 6. Well, that's 2 and 4. So my denominator factors are x plus 2 and x plus 4. We now can cancel our factors, our x plus 4s, leaving us with an answer of x minus 4 over x plus 2. As we summarize, we need to remember we can only cancel things that are in factored form, and we can only cancel things connected with multiplication.